today I'm at Bedford Street Antiques. <laughs> These medical displays sell for a good amount. Five dollars is definitely a steal. Uh, though I must say this isn't my favorite one. It's still a really great deal, but I'm gonna keep looking. What's this yellow vase hiding out back here? Gosh, that is so pretty. I love the color and the hobnail. Oh, it's got a sticker too. Twelve dollars. Well, you know, I usually see this in like a cranberry color. I've never seen this yellow one. It's really nice. Uh, it goes from like sunshine to mustard. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Whoa, zebra bookends. They're really heavy. $19. That's a really good price, but I mean, they must weigh like at least four pounds each. It would cost a small fortune to ship them, which would definitely eat into some of the profit margin. Uh, and I'd have to ship them separately because I'd be afraid that they'd crush anything else. I really like them, but for $19, I think I'm gonna let these ones go. Oh, look at this happy bowling bin. Wow, he's got a great expression. $13. Actually, I think this is left in. It's in really good shape. I've seen it before, but there was so much red paint loss that it looked like it was almost all white. I feel like I know somebody who would like this. So I am going to go ahead and get this, but I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to save it and give it as a gift. Oh, what a great color. And I love the cherry blossom print, but $22, that's not for me. I really like the yellow, and the shape is cool. It's only $8, but it's definitely new, so I'm going to pass. Oh, what a pretty periwinkle. I feel like I don't usually uh, see this color. Bas basket weave pattern is nice, too. $10, that's a good price. I've been buying more stuff like this recently, but... I think I'm gonna let it go today. I have a huge thing for majorette stuff, and this hat is incredible. I mean, look at that pink feather. It's only $9. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it definitely belongs to me. All right, I officially have a double basket situation going on. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna get the fuzzy ceramic dogs. That's a steal at $8. Now, what about this guy? 650. He's cute. I've had things like him recently. Half of them sold and half of them didn't. Um, since I've already got two baskets full, I'm gonna pass. And the casket's nice, but what's this? 38 for the set. Well, I grabbed the majorette hat, but I forgot to check how much the top hat was. $58, a good price, but um, not for me. I really like the pink dog planter. I mean, how can you resist his face? $12 is a little more than I want to spend on it. Uh, but I'm definitely going to grab this fuzzy bulldog. That is spectacular. And the fuzz is in good condition. He's cute, but uh, more into this. <laughs> how cute is he? Oh my gosh, it's like a kangaroo dog. I'm going to take this for sure. I was about to walk away when I was like, I cannot leave this here. Uh, he's pretty great. I'm going to go ahead and take him with me. This little dog Astra is definitely different. A little strange. $4 though. I can't really argue with that. Um, he's unique and super cheap, so I'm going to take it too. This print is absolutely gorgeous. It's a steal of a price at 18. I'm gonna take it. I'm not sure if it's gonna end up in my apartment or my booth, but I have to have it. Oh, I hate that I always notice clocks. This one's awesome. I love the shape. It's got a great look to it, and I love the contrast between the ornate and the mid-century, but I don't think it works. Uh, let me see if it even does anything here. 
yeah, it seems kind of locked up and I don't know much about clocks or how they operate. So I'm gonna have to leave it. Ooh. Oh, it's broken. Ooh, I like this big dog statue here. $9, that's really cheap. It's in good condition too. I've bought a few things like this recently and I still have a couple of them, so I think I'm gonna leave it, even though it's got a really nice look to it. What an interesting looking decanter. Oh, wow, it's really a uh, thick glass underneath the hide, $14. Yeah, this is super heavy. It's got a really cool look though, and the hide's in good condition. Normally I feel like it's all torn up or kinda grungy looking would make a really nice accent piece in a man cave or a mid-century bar, but I just don't want to ship something that heavy. Hula girl. She's got her original case here. Five dollars? Well, I can't argue with that. Hula girls definitely sell pretty well. For five dollars, I'm not going to think twice. I'm a big fan of these diorama things. This is a super neat one. It's got a little spot of damage. Let's see how... <laughs> I'm just shaking it up a little, seeing uh, if I feel confident enough to ship it. I'm a little on the fence if it would make the trip, but either way, for $6, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I might put it on Etsy, or I might put it in my booth. Nun planter. Six dollars. That's a really good price. Uh, nuns are definitely a hot, hot subject. Um, <laughs> actually, that sounded like a really weird thing to say. Uh, either way, it's coming with me. Some teddy bears here. <laughs> Wait, this is actually really cool. <laughs> Six dollars is a good price too. But I'm gonna leave it. This guy looks like he's seen better days. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass. Oh, so pretty. I love the pink and blue. Oh, I thought it said five. Uh, 15 is a, it's a no, unfortunately. Six. Yeah. What a fun frame. I always like these Art Deco look. It kind of looks Toulouse Lautrec y. $5. That's a really good price. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this. It's just too good a deal not to. Seashell Ashtray. Mm, it's not my favorite. All right, well, that's it for here. I'm going to check out and then head down the road. So after I went to Bedford Street, I decided to head up towards Hershey. I uh, just got to Old Factory. It's been a really long time since I've been here. All right, well, I just have to know how much a jar of macaroni noodles costs here. <laughs> $3.50. What a deal. <laughs> I like the flower frog. It's a nice shade of green. It's marked Japan too, that's neat. $10, that's a little too close. Oh, this is a really nice dresser box. Uh, $26 is definitely a, more than a fair price. Uh, I sold one like this recently, but her expression was a little bit better. Oh, how cute. I love the ones in the tree. Wait, whoa. Um, yes, please. It's got the lenticular eyes. It's in like perfect condition. That actually is a really great find. Uh, the last one I saw of these sold for like $60, but it was a little bit bigger. Still, it's definitely a hard to find item. <laughs> I like these guys in the tree and the thermometer looks like it works too. $5 is a really good price. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this just cause it's in such good condition too. Normally the paint's all messed up or they're missing an earring or something. And these statues are in really good condition too. Part of set, how much is the set? $8? Oh, 
I love it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these. That's a really good deal. Uh, can't really argue with $8 for the both. I like this shade of blue. Uh, but the flowers are applied decals, not hand-painted. $12 seems a little high for resale for sure. I <laughs> like the little jointed doll. He's got his diaper in uh, perfect condition too. Or intact, I should say, not perfect condition. $3 is a really good price. I've had these before. I've sold them for like 11 bucks or something. I'm going to pass today though. Well, this is one of my favorite boots, but I'm not seeing that much. I kind of like the matches holder. Uh, how much is it though? They usually are pretty reasonable prices. Fifth, is that five or 15? 15. Yeah, that's too high for me. Put that back. The graphics on these old puzzles are always so cute. Um, ooh, that's pretty messy. I don't feel like <laughs> dealing with that. I like the print on this tin. Oh, I'm not seeing a price though. Yeah. Priceless. <laughs> Funny little cow figurine. He's pretty cute. He's a little on the newer side. What a cute planter. It says as is though. How as it? Very as is. <laughs> uh, her head is extremely repaired. I wish this wall pocket had more color. It's got some crazing too. How much is it? 15. Uh, well, I know these are new, but how new? I'm obsessed with them. I love the eyelashes. <laughs> feel like I can see a sticker peeking out. I might peel back uh, the tag a little and see what it says. Yeah, they're like yesterday new, but it looks like I might have found a new hobby, gluing fake eyelashes on things. Well, that was officially my quickest trip there ever. Uh, didn't really go as planned, but it's okay. You can't win them all.